Hello everyone and welcome to the Bike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Antonio Cesaro and my Be a Pro series here in M here in NHL 13. Yes, I do apologize for that. Has the console be shutting down? Apparently it's gonna be shutting down on me as soon as I start recording. Pardon me. So this is it. This will be his last game in an Armada uniform. And this time we'll be wearing the home ones at long last. He is a left winger for the Blainsville Bobrong Armada. And now this time, just like my real Via Pro. And don't forget, on my third gamer tag, which is the gamer tag that Daniel Bryan is under, there will be two series on that one. One, it will be the highly anticipated, highly anticipated, Highly anticipated, highly anticipated be a start of CHL mode, but that will be a second one, and enough done will be like this. Players to watch in this one, look out for Gormley of the Sawinigan Cataracts. And on, for the Armada, of course, is Antonio Cesaro. And in goal will be Debo for, for the Cataracts, while for the Armada is a Marcou. And the comparison, as you can see, 16 goals for and 6 against. Well, we're 2-0, well, we're 2-0, well, the Cataracts are 1-1. One and one. And the once new features, yada, yada, yada. And as you can see, our power play percentage is just near abysmal, so I'm not going to hit the A button, so you guys can watch. I am going to talk over this, because this contains copyrighted music. Wait, before I get started with the Via Pro, this one, and there you see him, wearing the home whites. So hopefully, we do get to see him as a thumbnail here. And note, speaking of thumbnails, starting on Friday, all Disney stuff will be, will be custom thumbnailed from here on out. And note, sorry it took so long, because it's almost 2 o'clock. It's two, I think it's 2 o'clock at 2.34, pardon me. Hi everybody. I'm and yep, Mark there you see him in that home jersey, so you guys saw the whole intro there. And here we go, here you go, there's Cesaro and he misses, and this is probably the only time today you're going to see him in the instant, instant re of Cesaro in the instant replay. Don't forget, tomorrow you will see him in an NHL uniform. Okay, good. Be careful. There you go. Still wearing the number 10. And note, later on today, you guys are going to see a new series. This is actually, I've been wanting to do this one for a while, but now that this game's out, I simply can. This is the uh, be a GM mode, which is something I wanted to do for a while, but I never got around to do it. So here we go. As ooh, watch out, Cesaro! Oh boy! Oh, he missed, and uh, as only as out of zone. And note, I, I know I can create a girl in both these games, but expect to, on Saturday we will debut of my first true female character. Hint, hint. Not Sally Mae. No way. Here we go. And there goes Antonio. Going through the right wing. And here he goes. And there he is. Oh, he missed. And there it is. He missed again. Ooh, and... Cesaro somehow got it. And score! What a goal! And the Armada has struck first. What a goal by Jess Tangye. So, and Cesaro does not get the assist, but he does get a plus positive feedback when the goal is scored, and unfortunately his team play value just went down a bit there, so that's some bad news. So 17.05 left to go. Yes. 
saved by the cataract. And don't worry, I will do so win again. I promise you that. Oh, and Cesaro keeps brewing up. And oh, do I see a neutralizer coming? Yes, it is. And oh, do I see, see Cesaro's working up another one? Well, he doesn't need to. And here goes Cesaro trying to get his first goal of the game. He's got, and he scores! There it is! Goal number one, and it is 2 nothing for, for the Armada. And two guys got the assist. How about that? Yeah, watch out. So Blaine, so Swinnigan does score, so it is two to one. Oh, neutralizer. Ooh, well, he it was reversed. And tonight is main event. And there's Chaput, who scored the winning goal in the Memorial Cup Final versus London, which we already saw already. But uh oh, tie game. So this may not be good. And there's a goal! And just like that, it, the Armada retake the lead! As Jess Tangye is stealing Antonio's thunder. It's pretty sad that the defending champions are your, your toughest opponent. And there's Cesaro again. Two, and now it is four to two. Blainsville, what's wrong? Wait, 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 wait. What was that sponsor? That's so silly of me, because I could have sworn it said... It is! It's BMO! The same company that's home of the Bradley Center. So, yes, if you guys are wondering, yes. And a good save by our goalie. The card's clearly shown he's not afraid to give up the body. Yeah, it's about putting your body in harm's way and take a look at the numbers. This guy does it with great regularity. So 555 left and now 435 and the rain and the armada scores again. Wait, why am I saying? Not the Ontario Rain, which hint hint. Whoa. Oh, breakaway. Ooh. Doe, he missed. And watch the turnovers there, Cesaro. Jeez. And uh oh, do I see another neutralizer coming? There it is. There's the neutralizer. And his energy is running low again, so he got, has to go back to the bench. And I'm going to hit text him on purpose, and oh, there's another goal. 6-2. Tangye got it, jeez. Tangye's on fire.
What a goal! By Jess Tangye. So just like that, right now the heavy favorite to get the number one star is Jess Tangye because Cesaro continues to screw up. So here we go. 209 left. What? What? All right, let's keep going. And there's Cesaro trying for his third, but the defense of the Cataracts is just too strong. And uh-oh, I guess they were prepared for Cesaro, then Tangye. Ooh, he almost got it, but almost got another neutralizer. And uh-oh, here he goes again, and... Okay, way to steal my thunder, Cesaro. And there's Hertzberg, oh! Are you serious, bro? Good save, and that's it. So 56-2 Armada over the Cataracts. This would be a huge victory for Blainsville Bus Brown here. And I'm sorry, I'm just... And this is it. Let's see the final seconds. And that's the end of the first period. With the score of Blainsville Bus Brown lead. So here we go, it's time to start the second period. And I, again, love this, they, are, they scan the crowd for you. And also, one thing I like to bring up, and it is pretty major, which I'll discuss this before we discuss our new character, which I have a lot of ideas. Ooh, and he keeps missing. Ooh! Does that count as a neutralizer hit? Apparently not. Oh! -ho! Thank you! What a goal! And it is 7 to 2! And Hesburgh gets his first goal of the game. So now everybody's got one, and it went through. Thanks to Cesaro, they got that one in. So just like that, Cesaro helps, didn't help over the Armada much, but it is a 7-2 lead over Blainesville. Over so Winnegan, excuse me. Don't you dare, please. So here we go, as, and it's oh a great save! And look out, ooh! And Cesaro is just skating around, not playing good in this one. So here we go, as 15:02 left to go, seven, to, still seven to two. Oh, ooh. and there's Tange and oh, actually, if he scored four, the, the the first star spot is good as his. And there's Cesaro trying to make get a hat trick of his own. Oh, the post said sorry. I don't want you to get another hat trick. <laughs> Yeah, he's getting fr he's getting frustrated. This is just like the first episode. So 11:50 left. There's Hertzberg. 
Going to pass it to Tangye. And, ooh. And there's the scene. And there's the hit on Cesaro and a neutralizer. Now, is Cesaro going to score? No! And uh oh, he's warming up another neutralizer. Nope. Not quite yet. And Cesaro's been called back to the bench. So here we go, 10.52 left. 9.45 left, and right now it is. And there's Cesaro trying to make it through, trying to get a shot. Nope, misses. And he helps Tangye! And he helps Tangye, jeez. So the first star spot goes to Tangye, while well, Cesaro's assist numbers are going up. Oh my goodness. So the, this is getting really out of hand. He's really showing off Tangye instead of himself. So he is not a superior champion. He's a, he's a superior teammate. And oh, he keeps missing though. There's Vache. Rache. There we go. There's his hat trick. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Got a goal. So a very big goal right there for the... Nice assist. So I want to see who got the, the assist on Cesaro's hat trick. Rache and... Tangye! Seriously? Why Tangye? Yeah, Tangye's probably getting the first star if he scores another goal. But Cesaro is giving him a nice run for his money, though. And there's Captain Picard. We're seeing him for the last time. Oh, well. And there it is! Ooh, good save by the backup goalie. Well, that is getting pretty bad. So here's Cesaro and ooh. What? Yeah. A bomb. Here we go, as look out to Zaro! Oh, good save. And he clear, decides to clear it, and he's going to sit out. So we're going to hit that B button to see what happens. 435, wow. Cesaro needed that rest. And there's Cesaro, uh oh. Where do we see goal number four? And he'll be the team best right there. No, not quite. Now, right now, Cesaro's getting beat up. And, oh, there's a neutralizer. And there's Risha. And, here's, and here it goes. And here he goes. And, oh. Ooh. Ooh. And that is the end, of, and that's probably the end of Cesaro's second period right there. So right now, it is a 9-2 lead in favor of the Armada. So one minute left, so that is it. At the end of two periods, the Armada lead 9-2.
so so when again is having a huge victory it's gonna get a huge victory but a big question on everybody's mind is who's getting number one so right now it's probably Tangye but as we take a look at the box scores you can see Tangye scored first then Cesaro with as you can see penalties Chaput well the Armada is doing a good job of getting out of the penalties So he has, so Cesaro has four points, well, Tang Ye, he, I hate to say it, but Cesaro has a lot of work to do if he's going to catch up to Tang Ye, but at this point, those assist numbers are just going to kill him. So Cesaro may have to settle for number two. Uh oh, do I see another neutralizer coming? Nope. So here we go. So here goes Cesaro. So 1921, and now it's 16:51 left to go in the Memorial Cup action for this for this for this series. And there you see back Arden. Ooh, a huge save. And a huge neutralizer hit on that winner again player. And uh oh, do I see another one coming? Mm. Well, oh, huge save! And, ooh, that was, was that Tangye? No, that was not Tangye. Uh, that was Tangye. He would have. Yeah, they are working hard here. And let's see right now how Cesaro's going to work out in this one. And there's so win again, and they scored a goal, and they finally woke up. And now it is nine to three. Scored by Brandon Gormley. Oh boy, that's his second of the game. So here we go as And there's Cesaro. Ooh, those missed chances are just hurting him real bad and uh oh. There's Captain Picard and Ooh. He didn't know he had the puck. So that was a little embarrassing. But either way, there's a good possibility that he's gonna be the number one overall pick and uh oh. And he gives it to Hetzberg. Hetzberg gives it to Cesaro. Here goes Cesaro. Oh, he hit the post. So here we go. Here goes Cesaro. Trying to get another neutralizer. He got it. And that took the rest of his energy away. So Cesaro is going back off onto the bench. Onto the bench. 12-11 left. Now it is... 804 left. Jeez, but it's empty. Still 9 to 3 is a huge lead. And uh oh, there's a neutralizer hit on Gormley. And there's a shot and a great save by the goalie. A goalie's name I can't pronounce it. Oh, there's Hache. Or Hatch. And now Cesaro's going to. Six twelve left to go in the game. Right 
So then 38, the goalie for the Cataracts did the right thing by covering the puck. Otherwise, Tangye or Cesaro would score it. Over six minutes remaining, we're in the third. The Armada's opportunities have been converted, and that is the difference in this game. The shots are equal, but they got the lead. Oh, and there's Cesaro. Oh, another post oh, shot. And oh, a new neutralizer hit. And shoot, and he missed the entire net. Oh, he missed. So right now, uh oh. oh. There's Quintlet, and he got another assist by accident. Great assist by Antonio Cesaro, and it is now ten to three. As Xavier Olet gets it and Tangye got another one, so yep. And so and that's probably when Antonio realized he has to settle for the second star at this point. As much as he wants to be number one throughout the tournament, but there's a good shot he'll get the MVP. Ten to three, and now three fifty two left. Cesaro gets ready to take play and possibly his last shift in an Armada uniform. And don't worry, we will see the Armada again in NHL 14. Ooh. Chris Hertzberg gives it to Cesaro, trying to get his fourth goal. No! He, keeps mi he missed it again. Uh-oh, another neutralizer hit coming. Nope, didn't get it. So Cesaro heads to the bench for the last time. And that is where he will possibly end his day. And that's the end of it as the, as the Armada wins. 10 to 3. So here we go. As we take a look at the three stars, you probably know who the number one is. It is going to be Jeff Ta Jess Tangye with those eight points. Antonio Cesaro knew he got second star, so he wasn't the top two stars throughout the whole tournament, which is fantastic. And Xavier Ulet gets the third star, or the pity star, as I, as Antonio likes to call it. So that is it. He's done. He is on his way to the NHL at this point. And now the big question, where is he heading right now? So we are not going to show the championship game like always, if there is one. And that is 453%, which is excellent. And now, as you can see, we're facing off the Edmonton Oil Kings. What? They were close to elimination. How did they get through? Okay, so let's take a look. So, so Winnegan got eliminated, apparently. So here we go. We're going to sim, and it's 4-1. Now it's 5-1. And the, so win as the Armada has won it. Six to two, and as we take a look at the goals, rolls Antonio Cesaro got three in the first period alone, and then Hetzberg got two. So Antonio Cesaro did get the MVP of the tournament. How about that? With all those goals he scored as. And that's not going to make Cesaro very happy. He got a third star. So he got the pity star. As he called it in this tournament. So he got two goals throughout the whole thing. As, as he will be on Armada for life. And as you can see. He's going either first or third. So let's take a look at where is Antonio going. I swear if it's Tampa Bay. I'm going to be. I'm going to flip out if it's, in, if it's Tampa Bay. Nope. He's going to a promising start. And. <laughs> How timely is this? He's going to Edmonton to play for the Oilers. So, Antonio Cesaro is going to Edmonton 
going first overall half hour and he is going to the Edmonton Oilers we finally got the, the province of Alberta settled I in NHL 12 I went to Calgary Alberta now we got one for Edmonton with the Edmonton Oilers oh boy they need some help big time so Cesaro may fill in the shoes as a member of the Edmonton Oilers So, so that is it. He is a member of the Oilers. So he is a member of the Edmonton Oilers. So this is probably where he's going to be for the, for the first three years of his career. And now, uh, oh, you know, I just realized I think number 10 may be taken. I just realized Sean Harkoff. And you know, I just realized I, uh, I think, uh, Mr. Mr. Cesaro has to change his number. I realized Sean Horkoff is still with the Oilers. Whoops. So bad news, uh, Cesaro. You're going to have to change your number. So he has been thinking of it over. So he has thought of it over. And he has decided. So he has talked it over with the fans of Edmonton to figure out what number he's wearing despite the ones he tells are retired by the Edmonton Oilers. Oh boy, this has taken forever. Much better. And we are just about there. And we are just about that halfway point of this. Or the main part of the series is about to begin. As our first opponent is not as fair as Minnesota Wild at the first line for Antonio Cesaro. As you can see, we're gonna do the power player growth in just a few, in, the, in the, possibly then before the regular season starts for Mr. Cesaro. So here we go, our first opponent, Antonio's first opponent, NHL opponent in the preseason, is the Minnesota Wild. As you can see, not an easy task. As we take a look at the team news, as Antonio has thought of a number. Number 12? What? Number 12? What? Are you kidding me? Well, 11's retired. Oh, apparently 10's not retired. Oh, wait. What number's Horkoff? Well, 17's retired. So... It So Antonio has thought it over. Has thought it all. Has thought about it. So Antonio Cesaro wants his number ten back, but unfortunately he he doesn't. He thought it was retired. Sean Horkoff was there, but nope. He was considering going seventy-two, but guess what? He doesn't want to go with that. So in deciding, 
He wants to rip off. He wants to steal Ryan Nugent Hopkins' old number 90. Well, unfortunately, he wanted 99, but guess what? Um, in the NHL, Cesaro, you can't wear 99. So he decided just to go. In the end, he decided to go, you know. What about 14? So he's going to go with the number. So he is going to be wearing number 62 throughout this, throughout his career. So he's going to be wearing number 62 from here on out. So come back next time as Antonio gets ready to face his toughest task yet. The NHL in Edmonton. See ya.